All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a new job to do a random topo on a generic site. So let's say you want to go out to a, a field and do a, a, a topo of the existing ground so that you can compare that to the design. So I'm already in a project, so what I need to do is I need to create a new project. So I go to Data, Project, click on the current project, and that takes us into our project file screen. This is where we create new. And then I'm going to uncheck control points. What that means is that's pulling control points, localization data from another job. So I'm just going to put field one. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And it takes us back to the project file. Now, once we hit OK, it's going to ask us, do we want to make this current? Yes. Now, we have nothing. There's nothing in here, there's no points, there's no surfaces, there's no line work. So what we need to do initially is create a control point. So we're going to go to Data, Control, Control Points. And then we have to add. Now we put a name in it. I usually use CP1. Hit OK. And now we put our coordinates. I use 5,000. 5,000. 100 and then usually I pound a pin in the ground or a hub or or a, or a rebar or something just to know that I've been there I hit okay and now we go back here okay once I hit zoom extents it pulls me right back where my CP is now this is when I go through my setup base station routine so I go setup base station I have my CP1 I hit next. This is my Hyper-V. My antenna height is what I've been measured to. This is my radio settings. Hit next. And then we hit finish. Now when we hit finish, it's going to go to the Bluetooth setup. I do not have any Bluetooth right now as I'm on the desktop, so I'm just going to leave it here and hit cancel. Once I'm all set up and, I, and I'm fixed, I'm green, I'm going to go back into data, control, control points, click on the current control, hit edit, go to my GPS tab, which will now have latitude and longitude, click horizontal, click vertical. It doesn't allow a zero in the demo model. So that's how you're going to do it. And then you hit OK, and then you're ready to rock and roll. You can go out and you can take topo shots all around your site, create surfaces that are of the existing ground, and then take it back into the office and compare it to design.